Hey everyone. Hi. Got a hot sauce here. Uh, we're going to do the bomb. It's the ghost pepper hot sauce. And uh, got June here with me to do it. Oldie but goodie hot sauce. Yep, it's been around. This hot sauce has uh, watered many eyes. We're going to see how we handle it. I'll let her read the ingredients and stuff while I get my little timer set up. We infused our hot sauce with the world's hottest pepper, the Naga Jalokia. Did I say that right? Naga. Naga Jalokia, our ghost pepper. That measures over one million, bleh, <laughs> one million Scoville units. This hot sauce contains zero pepper I can't talk. <laughs> Zero pepper extract. Alright, here's what we got. <laughs> we got a Naga Jalokia chili sauce. Uh, it says here we infused the hot sauce with the world's hottest pepper. I understand they've been out of one since this came out. Spare the goofy comments. Um, ghost pepper measures over 1 million Scoville units. So hot sauce contains zero pepper extract, which actually. I am pleased with because yeah. pepper extract is. Uh, Don't care for it. Uh, but it's just kind of chemical thing. But anyway, I digress. All right, it uh, measures a blistering but enjoyable 22,800 Scoville units. That's really not. Uh, it's gonna hurt a little bit, but shouldn't be brutal. Ingredients is habanero peppers, fresh hot habanero, and salt. So I guess it's like a mash that probably be making there or something. Uh, mango puree. Ooh. I like hot sauces with mango. Yeah, no doubt. The sweetness really works good with it. Water, lime juice concentrate, tomato paste, Jalokia chili pepper powder, and habanero powder. Hmm. Well, let's see what we got here. Let's stick. Your spoon. Ooh, does look <coughs> thick. It's really thick. All right. I don't think we're supposed to do like a spoonful. I don't think you're ever supposed to do a spoonful of any of this stuff. All right, yeah, it's thick. It's kind of pasty. Little, couple little chunky things. That'll, ooh, that's enough. Uh, it's got like little chunks of stuff in it, and chilies and stuff, but primarily. Can I see it? If I do it it's very smooth yeah very smooth and pasty which means it's probably going to be a pretty damn tasty sauce Oop, and I'm making a mess cheers uh, think uh, mm. Mm. it's good Ah, smoky. Mm hmm Ah. Pungent. There's a bitterness to it. <laughs> um. Back of the throat is uh, on fire. <coughs> yeah. When you swallow, it hits the back of the throat. It's not necessarily hitting the back of the throat. Like. <coughs> Hiccups. A lot. Not blast in the back of the throat as much as just kind of cleaning up my mouth. When you swallow it, you feel it. Now we've got the build. We are one minute into it and it is starting to blast my mouth. Pretty pretty good uh, saliva going like crazy I always get the hiccups when I take something hot um, I really like the flavor of it yeah it was good um, even though my mouth feels numb right now let me think about this um, Now you can taste the mango a little bit. 
I think it tasted the lime more than the mango. Like aftertaste. Right, which I like lime in hot sauce. Um, starting to move around the mouth a little bit now. My tongue is in a vice grip. Tongue is really pulsing right now. I'm glad we ate before we did it because I could feel it in my stomach and my lips burn. Oh yeah. But. Chili head advice. If you're ever going to do a taste test, definitely eat first. Um, yeah. You know, the bomb is actually a pretty good name for it because really when I first had it in my mouth, you know, trying to figure out what, what I'm tasting and everything, it was like, got a little bit of this, got a little bit of that. And then all of a sudden it was like, boom, like blasted me. Mm. Uh, I think I worked myself up a lot for this one because it, it's hot, but still not as bad as I thought it would be. It's not brutal. Yeah, it's not a brutal but sauce. It's it, uh, oh, it's definitely not playing around. It's It's got some heat to it, but... Uh, but it, this is definitely one I would use on my food. It's, oh, not, yeah. it's not just a novelty sauce, like a, which I thought it was going to be. I'm it's thinking, like a really hot... I'm one. thinking, I mean, I know I always say it all the time, but this would be a really cool addition to some chicken wings. Yeah, just a little bit of it. This would uh, do good with anything that where you're looking for something kind of sweet also. This would work good with something sweet. Yeah. Like a barbecue sauce. You want to liven up a barbecue sauce or something like that. Uh, it's getting hot in here. <laughs> it's building. It's definitely hotter than it was two minutes ago. We're at the 345 mark and uh, yeah. My lips aren't going too terribly bad, but oh, my tongue. Back of the throat kind of let up. I really don't feel the back of my throat. I feel it more but, um, in my stomach, in a, the roof of my palate, like up. Yeah, the roof of your mouth hitting you. See, I feel it in the roof of my mouth a little bit. I mostly feel it. My tongue is blasting. Man, it's got a good burn on the tongue. This is also a perfect example of the fact that a sauce... Now, the same bottle might hit two people a little differently. Hitting her in the top of the mouth, it's hitting me on the tongue. I feel it in my belly, though. It is warm in the gut. There's a little bit of warmth going on right there. I feel that, too. Um, my tongue is not getting any worse. It's staying where it is. If anything, it's maybe starting to barely let off a little bit. Uh... How about you? Mine's kind of let off a lot. I've been pretty much... It's still warm, but it's a manageable heat to where I'm not in super pain. And it's got my... The saliva's going like crazy. My mouth is just like... Mouth watering. Like crazy. Um, the heat in the back of the throat diminished almost as soon as I got done as you know shortly after swallowing it getting it getting it down it uh that started letting up almost instantly but it had a good burn initially on the back of the throat it just didn't last very long um a little bit of a pungency to it uh at first and then that lime juice and the mango, I think, kind of work together to kind of get rid of that pretty quick. So I it's think that. the lime juice, but I feel my stomach gurgling. So <laughs> it's doing something in there. But of course, you're not supposed to eat a whole spoonful of it at yeah. one time. But and in food, it would be perfectly. And now that good. we did actually just eat something like a like maybe what 20 minutes before, and it had a little bit of heat to it also, yeah. and it was kind of a heavy food, but. uh I can get uh, up and start running right now. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely. I'm, I'm feeling it. It's good. Uh, nice burn on the mouth. Um, it's hard to sit still. Nice and warm. Uh, the tongue is still kind of blistery. Tongue still kind of got like a sear to it. It's, it's burning pretty good still. I mean, it's done let up, but I'm still definitely feeling the burn on the tongue. But the rest of the mouth is pretty much all gone. Uh, 
other than the tongue, I actually feel it in my stomach more than I feel it in my mouth. Um, the flavor of it doesn't really match the smell. Um, I, th I find that it has more of an aftertaste and it actually has a flavor itself. Kind of a tangy hint of a sweetness to it. There's that initial kind of a bitterness, real heavy smoke, and then kind of bitter flavor going. And then that kind of disappears and the heat starts ramping up. And you can still taste things, but it's kind of hard to discern it because of the heat. But uh, when the heat starts dissipating, um, that lime juice and the, and the mango really kind of, they work well together, I think. Yep. Good sauce. I enjoyed it. We've got a... Uh, uh, I'm going to try to see how many minutes we got going on here. Alright, we are right at the 8 minute mark and it's starting to tear off pretty good. Um, it's really starting to dissipate pretty well. I'm not taking, you know, I still got the aftertaste a little bit. More like lime aftertaste. Kind of like that citric back of the throat kind of, but not heat, but like a citric thing that kind of keeps your mouth like, like you almost like, Oh, I got to do some more kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sweating, but I don't know as much of that to do with uh, the hot sauce as just kind of kind of got warm and humid down here in South Louisiana today. But uh, the bomb ghost pepper hot sauce. Um, now the ghost pepper version of this uh, hasn't been around for ages and ages and ages but the bomb has been around for a good while what's uh, in the real the bomb i'm not sure i need to look it up oh i thought this was it's a product of kansas made in usa i didn't know there was two um well, I, well i'm sure they make quite a few different ones so they manufactured and distributed by original one oh there you go uh, original one i haven't had anything by then i've been really disappointed in ever in my life original one puts out good stuff Original wine, especially foods, they're the people that give you pain is good. They're the people behind the source. Um, they make a lot of stuff for other people as well. Um, just class act organization. They're, they're on top of their game. Um, yeah, but uh, the bomb ghost pepper hot sauce. Um, I would uh, definitely recommend it for the typical chili head. Um, it's not one of the brutal sauces out there, but it definitely uh, holds its own. Yeah. Let you know it's there for sure. And uh, I'm gonna have to figure out something to make another rep. Make like that. I'm gonna do a chicken wing sauce no. or a barbecue sauce or something with this. You should do tuna steak with it. Tuna steak. <laughs> All right. No, no, nah, no. Nah, that's it. We are. Hey, look. I have eaten so much doo doo over my pan seared tuna video that I am going to do the bomb tuna steaks. <laughs> Mark my word, that's going to be my next video. My next cooking video anyway is going to be the bomb ghost pepper hot sauce and it is going to be cooked using that in lime the, and with yeah. good, like Oh, I'll, I'll definitely doctor it up some, but I'm going to have I'm going to use the bomb in it. And hopefully we'll have some tuna steaks that are the bomb. <laughs> Although I think I'm probably going to ruin a couple of tuna steaks, but nah, it'll be good anyway. We have tuna. I know. But uh, anyway, uh, I hope y'all enjoyed watching the video. And uh, just for the last little, yeah, all right, we're at 11 minutes. Oh, and stay tuned for next video because we're going to be doing Blair's Ultra Death. We're doing Blair's? Not. I thought we were doing Satan's Oh, oops. Uh, we'll figure out which. <laughs> We're doing another hot sauce here soon. <laughs> um, it might be Ultra Death. We've got Ultra Death, and it's going to be coming. And, uh, ooh, nervous about that one. Regardless, uh, I'm going to cook some tuna steaks with this. You didn't open your mouth on that. I'm tuna steaks. Okay. It's going to be interesting. Um, and we'll let you know how that is. Well, you'll get to watch how it is. Anyway, then rattled off long enough. 
We're almost at 12 minute mark. The burn's pretty much gone. Now there's a little bit of an aftertaste. That's about it in the mouth. Tongue's a little bit numb. I feel a little bit of warmth, but mm -hmm. not much. It's it's mostly subsided. But that's a pretty good burn. 12 minutes. That's a pretty long. That's a pretty good little burn going on. Um, advertised it a uh, little over 22, well, 22,800 22, Scoville units. That's a strong 22,800. I've tasted a lot of stuff that are supposed to be a lot hotter than that and wasn't this hot. So, um, amateurs out there, uh, beware. This stuff is stronger than you may think it is. But uh, it's manageable. Anyway, um, I appreciate y'all watching. And... Uh, we will be getting back in touch with y'all soon.